Hey everybody, welcome back to the Carry Cut YouTube channel. If you're new here, we sure do appreciate you coming and watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you guys do leave comments, I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Any questions you guys have, put them down there in the comment section below. And also check out our Instagram, at Carry and Cut. And we also did make a Patreon. If you guys like to support the channel, we surely would appreciate it. Any of the proceeds that are coming from our Patreon are going to go directly back into the channel to buy new knives and new equipment to make the content better and uh, hopefully the quality better for you guys also. So today is another special day. We have a package to unbox here, or unbag, I guess you could say. And uh, I don't, I know what's in this knife, uh, in this bag, this package. I'm not really sure what's in it though. It's definitely knives and we need to give a big shout out to our boy Steven again. He uh, made this possible, sent this knife, this package in. I'm pretty sure it has some knives in it that he wanted us to check out and go over. So let's uh, go ahead and get into this thing. I'm definitely excited about this. Be careful opening it up there. Get right on in there. All right, so we got a good bit of stuff here. We got a CJRB, a random one taped up, a bench made, and another bench made. So this is pretty cool here. That's a uh, no node or anything yet, though. So we will see what's going on here. So this is a bench made 940 Osborne Blade HQ exclusive. So let's see what's in this one. He was worried about uh, I think he was worried about this knife. He wasn't too sure if it was um authentic or not he said he might have bought it off ebay and he was just kind of wondering exactly what was going on here and right off the bat it looks uh oh yep yeah. i don't know we'll see we'll go through it and we'll uh, definitely take a peek at it and see what's going on i just watched another video here uh, recently so we're going to take this one apart and go through it and um i think my other my other bench mate is upstairs and we will we're going to do a comparison video on this one we might even tear this one apart and look and see what's the differences between this one and the other one so this is definitely pretty cool, standard, you know, awesome uh, Benchmade 940 Osborne. Of course, this has the black coated blade, which is very cool. I do like that. So, that's nice. S30V. The only thing that does kind of worry me, it says Benchmade.com on the blade. So, that's kind of, kind of strange. I know the other ones do not have that. So, we'll go over it. We'll look at it. Still a very nice knife, though. Really do like the color on that one. So, we'll set that off to the side. Keep all these boxes in order here. And this one looks pretty sweet. I've never handled one of these full immunities before. Because I've only heard good things about them. So let's uh, go ahead and check that out and see. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera there. Go ahead and check this one out and see what we got here. Oh yeah, that thing is sweet. Definitely smaller than I thought it was. That's pretty cool. Good action on it. I like the lanyard too and these scales i don't know if these are factory scales that's how they come or not those are really cool i like that little it's got like a nuclear warhead kind of bead on the lanyard that is pretty cool and m4 blade steel that is sweet this thing's wicked sharp so he said he's kind of a construction contractor steven is so that is awesome Whoa. We'll, uh, hopefully i think he said we can tear into these and take them apart and see what's the inner workings going on here and hopefully clean some of these up for him and uh, make them good as new so that would be very cool so we'll have to talk to them about that one of course with a 940 the full immunity that is pretty cool i wonder is that if that's a full size one or if that's um if that's the biggest they are that's pretty cool we got a cjrb cjrb pouch here oh we got two knives in this one Let's see what we got going on here huh this is a mini osborne mini 940 now that is pretty cool with copper scales s30v blade that is that's pretty slick right there well i've never seen the mini one before that's my first time handling a mini one that is that is pretty cool really do like these scales that is man this thing's got some serious weight to it can't wait to do a review on this one and put get a put it on the scale and see what we got here really do like the coated blades he's definitely put these knives to work you can tell how much of the coating's coming off the blade so that is awesome i'm a big uh big fan of carrying the knives that you buy and actually using them that is a uh, you know, why buy them if you're not going to use them kind of deal. This looks like a, is this a pyrite? I think it is a CGRB pyrite. So I've never handled one of these yet either. Well, the reverse flick feels awesome on it. This has nice green micarta scales on it. Another one of those beads. I wonder where he gets them. That is pretty cool. I do like that indeed. It's a nice deep carry clip. Button lock action. Unlike the hectare, you can actually get your thumb in there on this one. So that's pretty cool. It's nice to see that. Yeah, you got another black coated blade. I wonder if this is a... AR RPM 9 steel. Yep, very good steel. So that is pretty cool. 
That is definitely cool. So let's see what's going on here. I was feeling the outside of the package and I could not understand what is going on with this thing. What is this package right here? Let's go ahead and cut right into that. I'll make sure to give you your towel back, Stephen. So like I said, Stephen sent these in so we can check them out and do reviews on these. And I'm um, gonna, you know, go through them all, review them, clean them up for them and send them on right on back to them. So we sure really do appreciate it, Stephen. Make sure you guys give him a huge shout out. You know, he's making this channel possible by sending other knives in. You know, we uh, don't have a crazy budget here at Carrying Cut. So, you know, people like you guys, especially Steven, sending the stuff in for us to review is really awesome. And we uh, can't, uh, can't tell you how much we, we appreciate that. So, oh man, check out this. Check out this thing. Whoa, that is pretty cool. Holy cow. Now that's, a, that is a knife. Holy smokes, I don't even know what one this one is. The 8600. I'll have to look into that. That is crazy. Look at that blade shape on that thing. That'd be like a, I don't even know what, what you want to call that. Is that like a uh, buoy knife? Jeez, that thing is crazy. Look how big that darn sucker is. That is awesome, Steve. I really do like that one. That is something I have never seen before. That is crazy. I'm about to look into this one. The 8600. So automatic, as you guys can see, pull back on the access lock. Fires right out. Awesome. That is, that is super cool. That is super cool. Really do like that one. Oh, no way. The Demco 8020.5. No way. That is sweet. And D2, Shark Lock. Oh, that's awesome. Steven, you definitely got a winner on your hands on this one. This is pretty cool. This is the uh, Shark Foot blade on it, too. Oh, that is awesome. Steven, man, if you're interested in selling this one, let me know. I'd definitely like to pick this one up from you. That is super cool. AD 20.5. The handles feel really nice on this one, too. Really damn digging that one. That one's sweet. That lock is fantastic to use. I'd be interested to see how much that uh, varies from this one to the um, CBB Vision FG, FG we just looked at, too. That one is super cool. And it looks, feels like we got one more in here. Oh, no way. Is this the Yojimbo? Oh, man, that thing is sweet. Look at the blade shape on that one. Super nice. This is pretty cool. Compression lock, S30V, CPM S30V. Feels like he's got, I don't know what kind of handles these are. These are definitely not ones that come on the knife, that's for sure. I'm not sure if these are titanium or uh, I'm not sure what this, what's going on with those right there. Let's see if I got a cut my magnet here to check this out or not. I think it definitely, definitely are titanium. Steel clip. Well, that's pretty cool. Either it's a Super solid chunk of uh, aluminum in there, or it's definitely gonna be titanium. So that is sweet. Really do like those. I've never handled one of these ones either. So every single one of these knives, except for the 940 I've seen. So that is very awesome, Stephen. Thank you very much uh, for sending these in for review. Let's say we're gonna check these out, get them all cleaned up for you, and uh, we'll go over them. So if you guys would like to see any of these in particular order, just let us know. We're gonna try to hurry up and um, do a good job, best job we can, and uh, get through these reviews so we can get these knives sent back to Steven in a uh, timely manner. So I sure do appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to give Steven a huge shout out for this. And also don't forget, after viewing this video, we're at 409 subscribers or we're gonna be giving away the, um, where'd I put the giveaway knife? Here it is. The Savini Button Lock Praxis. So we're going to give this away at 500 subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your families, go ahead and subscribe to the Carrying Cut YouTube channel. We would greatly appreciate it. We're really excited to give this knife away and do this live stream for you guys. So, you know, we're trying to grow, trying to do the best stuff for you that we can. And uh, stuff like this is what makes this possible for us. So, you know, it's super nice that he's sending us, um, believing in us and uh, giving the faith in us that the faith in me, I guess you should say, to uh, care for these knives and send them back to him. So, Surely do appreciate it. Thanks again, Stephen. You guys have a good one.